meeting, so we'll stay on that. But I also want to talk to you about the Clinton email issue because, you know, there was so much discussion about the FBI investigation, the questioning of Hillary Clinton, and exactly what was said in that room, because we know that Director Comey, when he spoke about it, said that he did not believe that she had lied to them at all. Uh, and that was part of, you know, his reasoning in terms of uh, believing that he had the full story from her as, as she knew it. So now the redacted version of that FBI interview has been released to members of Congress, including you. You've seen it. What are your thoughts on it? Yes, ma'am. We received last night uh, a number of documents, a 30-page summary uh, from the FBI, uh, a number of documents related to notes from interviews, uh, not only of Secretary Clinton, but of uh, her senior officials, Ms. Abedin, uh, Jake Sullivan, uh, the whole crew at the State Department, as well as Mr. Pagliano, who set up her private server. And so uh, we are under deep restrictions about the things we can share, about the substance of the contents of those materials. Uh, but we will be looking to see if we agree with Mr. Comey. Uh, I can tell you that uh, I spent 11 hours with Secretary Clinton in the Benghazi Committee, and she did not tell us the truth that day. She didn't tell the American people that truth, the truth about her system. She said she didn't send classified information. We now, of course, know that she did. She said that her lawyers reviewed every document. That, of course, we now know she did not do. Uh, and so we'll be looking at that closely, and um, we will share with the American people just about everything we can. And and what 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 happens then? I mean, if, if will you press for perjury proceedings? Um, is that a road that you're you're willing to go down? Oh, Martha, of course. Uh, every American is held to the same standard. Uh, when you speak and testify before Congress, you swear to tell the truth. And uh, Secretary Clinton did that, uh, and so we should absolutely hold her to the same standard. I hope that the Justice Department and the FBI will do that. I think when they do, I think when they review the entirety of the files, that they will, too, conclude that there were intentional misstatements made to the American public and to Congress, and that she'll be treated just like you and I would. Fascinating. All right. Thank you very much, Mike Pompeo, joining us Thank from you, the Hill today.